So in this video, now we're going to talk about what you do if you want to have a, uh, a large number of duplicates of an object or precisely placed duplicates of an object or have a large number of precisely placed duplicates of an object. So let's come in here and just create a new scene, file new scene. Do we want to save? No. So there we go. We've got a blank, uh, blank screen. So I'm going to create a cylinder. So create polygon primitives, cylinder, and just select it. And then we'll drag out a base here and a height and turn on shaded and wireframe on shading. And the uh, size doesn't really matter because we're going to come into the attribute editor and change the position and the size. So translate set to 0 and 4 and 0. So that'll be good. Leave the other things the way they are. Come to our third tab here and the radius. We want this pretty narrow. So 0 0.5 will be good. And a height of 8. Okay, we'll leave uh, all the subdivisions the way they are. We don't really need that for now. So that's good. So now we can uh, start duplicating. So we'll come to the Edit menu, Duplicate Special, and in fact, the little, uh, little square to the right of Duplicate Special. So click that. Here's our options. And I'm just going to select a Translate X value of 3. And nothing else on that. Number of copies, five. Okay, that looks good. Uh, don't really need to set anything else. Click apply. And boom, it kind of happened under the window, but there they are. In fact, we can close the window. So we've got our newest duplicate, our uh, four other duplicates, our original. So great. So we'll get rid of that with the Z key to undo and let's uh, talk about some other ways we can do this so spacebar to four window let's go to the front view and spacebar to make that big let's make that shaded and wireframe unshaded and then let's center this up uh, we can use the A or the F key or just uh, dolly in or whatever we like so there we go and now under edit Duplicate special, little square. Okay, we want to uh, unset this translate uh, x. So we'll take that back to zero. And now we're looking at this down the z. So we're going to change the rotation in z to 30 degrees. So that's along the axis that we're pointing at. So there we go. So it's created this little spoke setup here. And we'll go to the perspective view and zoom in. And so there, that's neat. Uh, you know, you can see maybe using that for a few different things, uh, maybe with a little modifications on the original object, but, uh, but it's useful. It's a worthwhile thing. Z, get rid of that. Now, when we did that, the pivot for those as to where they were created with a rotation from is the center of the object, which is where the pivot is by default but it doesn't have to be. There's all kinds of ways that we can change the pivot point. The one we're going to talk about first here is in the attribute editor right under these uh, first set of uh, translate and rotate and scale we have pivots. We have local space and world space. And you see local space shows zeros, world space shows four because the pivot is four units up. The uh, the cylinder is eight units tall, pivots right in the middle, but we can change these. Just type different numbers in. So we can come in and make this world rotate pivot to be zero. So drop it down to the bottom. Now as soon as we leave that, you notice the local number changes because since it's down at the bottom, that's not in the center anymore. It's four units down. So there, now our pivots at the bottom. Let's uh, go back to this front view and uh, select the object and now we're going to do that same operation which uh, is actually under the edit menu duplicate special little square leave it all the same rotate 30 in Z 
and uh, we're not going to change anything. We just leave everything the way it is. Number of copies five. Click apply. So now, if we close the window here, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see these have been created with 30 degree offsets in Z, the the direction we're facing, facing the screen, but from the bottom, sort of like a fan. So uh, just a couple different ways you can use that, and some ways you can probably think to use that that variation as well. So that's it for now, and we'll see you in the next video.